but I don't think that's going to happen. So, if you guys are interested, you know, I'm not trying to sell you to BlizzCon, but hey, if you if you're going, that's probably what's going to be there. If, if it's anything like last time, they'll have a pretty good rock band there to close out the the show. I know it, the the rock band last time was Foo Fighters, and that was damn near worth the price of admission all by itself. So. I will be there, you know, I, I'm not going to guarantee it, anything could happen, but probably around 85% is good. Damn. <laughs> oh, I still love doing that. Love it. 11 monsters killed? I killed, I swear I killed that in just that one shot. So wait, I didn't pick that up. So that's the deal with BlizzCon and PlayStation 4. I have seen the trailer for the PlayStation 4. It didn't really impress me, um, but uh, you know that's a whole different thing. I don't want to talk about that much. But just as a general rule, Diablo is a PC RPG. It's a computer RPG. It's a Western RPG. It's a roguelike. Those those belong on computers. Just as a general rule. And hooray for a lag spike! Holy crap! What did you I assume that that went through just for you guys the same that it did for me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not, I don't even have Steam open, so no, I'm not downloading anything on Steam. It. This is this is pure Battle.net servers. I assume my internet's doing fine. But you never know. Ah, there was a skeleton in those bones. Who would have guessed? Right. There's some magic guys over there, so we'll stay away from them. Ugh. God, are you serious? I'm surrounded by the babies that want to explode in my face. <laughs> no, stay away. No. Enchantress could die because she's not doing a good job here. Sand Dweller! I think this is the first time we've seen... Come on, new lore. Thank you. It's been a while. During the Mage Clan Wars, the Vigeri summoned giant demons to guard their estates. After years of patrolling the desert sands, the demon tides became thick as stone and caked with grit. In the end, they have outlived their masters. Now, only the glowing runes on their skulls belie their true origins. I'll be honest, I don't pick up a lot of what that is said in the bestiary lores because I'm too busy killing other things, but... They are they are interesting for those of you that do pay attention to them. I know they are. I have heard some of them, and they're usually pretty good about keeping it very interesting. And of course, they do it while it's going on on screen. I think the the beast area, like I said before, is done very well. I, I must commend them for that. Uh, uh, sweet. Just a normal health potion. I haven't had to use one since we started, and I like that. I like that. Although, Buttercrust and I beat Act uh, 3 on Nightmare Difficulty. We didn't have to use a single health potion the entire time. We did, like, all of Act 3, too, in the one sitting. It was, well, not all of it, but, like, 70% of it. It was pretty easy, but that's the way that the auction house still works. I haven't seen... There has we, the Zakarum have endeavored to make Chaldeum a city of mercy and salvation, but we have not yet been able to convince the emperors to change the ancient policy of exile. Prisoners convicted of treason are still sent to the desolate sands to die with nothing but the clothes on their backs. In here, I can feel my blood nearby. They hid some of it beyond this portal. So in case you couldn't, you know, look at it yourself and figure out that this is where you need to go, he tells you, let's go ahead and go inside, uh, and then we'll fully explore the, the rest of it before we go into the Cave of the Betrayer, because we need to go into both. These are going to be just like the ruins that we have been in before, but they should not be very big. At least from what I remember, they're not that big. I could be wrong, though. We do have the Guardian Towers back. So it should be pretty easy to go through here and defeat them all. Oh. I hate to waste it. Ass. <laughs> Die! Oh, look. See, that's a detail I never noticed before. You can see little skulls there. You can also look off the sides here, and I, I know I said I was going to be doing that, and I 
have been neglecting it. You can look off the side and you, you can see a lot of bones and stuff. They put a lot of detail into places that you can't go. I have a spell for you. And although I'm a little upset that you can't go there, I, I do like the fact that they would put effort like that. I do like that. I do like the, the, the effort that they put into it. So I, I want to show off the, the effort that you don't necessarily see if you're rushing through the game. Um, for whatever reason, you would be rushing through the game. I'm sure there were some people that did rush through the game. Harness of the Lion. I've got to be getting close on you. On being full here, and I'll probably have to go back and, and get all this stuff salvaged and all that kind of stuff. It'll take some time, though. Lots of enemies. Boom. <laughs> oh shit, I don't even have this on me anymore. I didn't get uh, killed with one shot for that? I swore I got at least eight, and I think that's the minimum. Are there are only 13 there total? What the hell? There's nothing here. Ugh. Wow, I'm actually pretty low on HP. This place must have belonged to Zoltan Kul before he died. It seems an adequate reflection of his character. That's an interesting way to look at it. I would say that this was obviously designed by a madman. I guess you're trying to say the same thing. And he to use a potion, unfortunately. Your flesh is weak. But then, of course, I got a revenge like immediately after I did, so that probably wasn't the smartest thing. I much from that. Sure you did. That's cleave, cleave, cleave. <laughs> you always learn from cleaving. There shouldn't be much on this side, I wouldn't think. So we should be able to fully explore this and head back. D just die. Holy shit, there's a lot of things here. Oh, I don't have revenge yet. Damn it. Should know better than to waste a stomp without revenge. Now I have it and I can't... Uh, kind of got them, but it's not the same without that stomp. Me all right. I will take it. Because it, it wears out so fast, I don't want it. Wow. Glitchy a little bit. Oh, shit. Treasure Goblin! He cannot run away. I must kill him. Get him. Get him. You do get an achievement for killing a whole bunch of these guys, uh, but I still haven't even gotten that because I haven't played long enough to get. Um, I think it's 200 of them. I'm carrying too much. Yeah, I figured we would run out of room eventually. Do I have anything to drop? I have two things to drop. And then we'll go ahead and put that. Oh, it automatically puts it even though I have it up. I like that. I like that a lot. So I'll continue on. Almost full. Almost ready to go back and empty out everything again. This was some kind of magical device. Must have been destroyed along with its master. She's talking about this right here. She has a lot of insight into this kind of stuff. I'm not necessarily sure how useful it is, but she has that insight. Oh shit! Vortex! Once again, they don't really give them tough tough power-ups, they just give them... Really what you have to be concerned about is more HP and more damage being dealt. Outside of that, they, they're not really that powerful. Uh, the, the, the upgrades that they have aren't particularly hard. So really, it's, it's not something I have to worry too much about. Okay, what's in here? Nothing for me to grab. Now, once again, we should be finding a dead end somewhere along here, but it just seems to keep going and going. Probably all go in one big circle eventually, and I'll have to do a lot of backtracking. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go in one big circle. Well, kind of, you know what I mean, just all around and we'll end up where we start. Damn it, I do it again. Well, a whirlwind to victory. Before me. No, no they can't. Damn it. I'm overburdened. Now I don't have room and oh, knockback. Hooray. Knockback actually is one that I don't like. Because it stops me from being able to hit them more than I well, less. It makes me hit them less. There. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Time for me to go back to town, take care of all that, 
and pick up these. I'll let you know if there's anything new on my build. Okay, did make a couple changes here. Did pick these up, but I don't think they're that good. No, not really. This one's okay, but no. Uh, what I ended up doing was I changed the uh, van braces, my bracers, so now they give me plus 18 strength and regenerate 3 life per second, which is awesome. I also changed my amulet, so now I have plus 32 vitality, which is 320 health, each point Sultan of vitality. Kool must have studied Vigerai magic. The protective spells on his guardians are similar to theirs. Right, of course. So each point of vitality is 10 health. As you can see, I have, was it 139? Right, each point allows, well, it says right there. Uh, everything else is the same, except that I have upgraded the the, uh, the gems. So now I have a full-on ruby on the weapon, a full-on topaz on the helm, so I now have a 9% better chance of finding magic items, and actually a flawless amethyst on the amulet. Uh, the Enchantress also has a new piece of equipment, which is the 19, plus 19 intelligence. Uh, she also has a plus 24 vitality amulet. Uh, everything else is the same. So, uh, remember that she does get more damage with intelligence, so you want her uh, high there, but she's still not even close to mine. God, less than a fifth. I can do that in my head. Less than a fifth. I don't know the exact ratio, but it is not good. Not good for you at all. She can still get the one hit, though. That one hit that she does up front is pretty damn nice. Uh, I'm going to assume at this point that it does loop around in a big circle. So I'm probably going to be backtracking a lot throughout this. I'll try to keep that, Do you see that for enemy the majority off screen. Ah, Jailers. Down they go. <laughs> if you get, if you bunch up on me, it will not work out well for you. Did not mean to pick up that cord. Go away. Open up the chest. Get another chipped amethyst. Uh, and that you pretty much just want to keep leveling up your jewels as much as you can, the gems, because as you saw, it, it does add up for you. Once again, it looks like I missed a treasure goblin somewhere around here that he got spooked or something, uh, because there were a couple pieces of just stray gold along the ground. Alright, so I'll probably have to go this way eventually, so we'll try to do that later. Uh, right now, let's just keep on going to the east and see if my conclusion is right, because the last thing I want is to head all that way and then have me be wrong. So, over here, these guys are good for giving me revenge. Should I ever spawn it if they just keep on hitting me? Get over here. There we go. There we go, indeed. So, back in Diablo 2, during my let's play of that, which seems like so long ago when I was doing that solo, because uh, doing it multiplayer did take a long time. I don't expect it to take that long this time doing multiplayer in Diablo 3. I just does not seem like it's going to be nearly as overly difficult, I guess is a good way to put it. And of course, if it is, then I could probably auction my house my way to victory uh, since that is available to me. Uh, what was I Oh yes, in, in that let's play. I, I ended up talking a lot about what I was doing personally. I figured uh, this would probably be a good time to, to do like a, a little update on that. Uh, so I had mentioned that I was uh, behind, which was which was a poor choice of words, but that's what I used. Behind on anime, which is, which was partially true. I have watched a ton of anime since then. Uh, I wouldn't say you know everybody's favorites, but I've seen a lot. I I can't I've I've seen it to the point where I just like can't give you a list anymore uh, of all the anime that I have seen. I have seen a lot. Um, of the major ones, you know, like Naruto, I'm, I'm watching Bleach right now, I uh, saw Avatar, a lot of, you know, a lot of the, the longer ones, uh, a lot of really good short ones, but yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun, I wouldn't necessarily change that. I am in the middle of watching Star Trek still, but I'm, I'm on Deep Space Nine, I have watched uh, all of Next Generation and the original series already. Get yeah. Freaking nightmarish. I hate you guys. It's not that it 
you're deadly, it's that you're annoying. And I will be honest, Deep Space Nine is good. It, you know, it doesn't probably get the credit that it deserves. It's not a bad Star Trek. The, the issue that I have with it, right, is that Deep Space Nine doesn't take place on a ship. Nobody's really going anywhere. It all takes place on a standalone vessel. Deep Space Nine is... I forget the term that they use, but it's, oh, it's a station. Uh, so people come to them. So it's kind of stationary, and it kind of limits the amount of stories that they can tell. So they end up trying to leave the station from time to time anyway to try to give that sense of, you know, hey, oh, by the way, we're still out in space. <laughs> you know? Even though there's aliens everywhere, you kind of get the, the idea that it's cramped up. So it has gone in a full circle here, more or less. Uh, looks like I missed a spot over there. We'll clear that all out eventually. And that's pretty much my, my main problem with Deep Space Nine. That and, you know, the real lack of a captain's presence. Uh, you know, Star Trek, the original series, and, and Next Generation are so much a product of Shatner and Patrick Stewart, you know? Apparently Kane doesn't want to talk to us anymore. And Deep Space Nine doesn't really have, I, I mean, it has Cisco, but it's not really the same, he, he doesn't have the same sort of presence, I guess. I don't know, that's my thoughts. I'm also trying to go through movies, a lot of other TV shows, I, I did watch Firefly, um, just loved the hell out of that show. Did buy a couple shirts. Once I start vlog videos, we'll, y you'll, you'll start seeing my shirts, and I do plan on doing those videos eventually. Um, Honestly, I, I'm looking at maybe we'll start doing that after after a sub special, but I'm not even close to that sub special yet. We're, we'll get there. It'll take a few more months, but well, if things keep on enemy going, over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. things keep going the way that they are, I'll be a few more months, and then we'll get and, and I'll get that, and then we can. I'll, I'll start doing vlog videos. I'll, I'll just force That's myself to I do it. You know, if I promise it, then then there's more of a incentive for me to go out and do it. So, there are still a few more places for us to go that are relatively short here. Uh, it, whoa, before I forget, StarCraft II, uh, Heartless Worm has been released. I didn't meet the, the, the release date to start... Oh, shit, here it is. Well, then we'll talk about that in a second. Finally. I have unlocked the secret of the soul stones once given to the Horatlan by Tyria. This is creation to be sure, but one that I am certain can be duplicated. No, not just duplicated, improved upon. My soul stone will be made to contain the souls of many demons, or even angels. That sounds interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get the blood. Uh, he's going to make a more powerful... You seem distant at times. <sighs> it is not my intention. There is nowhere I would rather be. Truly? Truly. Everything depends on this. On you. Yes, it does. Oh, here we go. More Hunter's Journal. We found Kool's archives. They were strangely empty. First. But Kool laid traps everywhere, each step harder than the next. It was foolish to expect otherwise. Kool has prepared for many years for someone to come for him. Perhaps we are fools. And yet, we must push on. Yes, we must push on. Uh, Heart of the Swarm. I, I, I am going to do videos for that. I'll probably do the campaign first and then I'll do... Um, I'll do a, a few commentaries here and there, uh, but really I'm, I'm focusing on finishing Diablo 3 first. Uh, we'll see what the multiplayer, the co-op between Buttercrust and I, we'll see how that goes. If it, if it goes well, then I'll wait until the end. If uh, w we have a little bit of struggles, then I'll probably do some StarCraft 2. That's probably the way that that's going to work out in the end. Uh, I will meet you over here. That's kind of a journey. That, yeah, I'll just walk over there. 